in industry, pharmaceutical industry, then one year work experience is needed. Or if you are a diploma holder, you did your uh, diploma in pharmacy, your bachelor pharmacy, your farm day. Now you are working as a pharmacy technician, not as a pharmacist. If you are working as a technician, still you can migrate to Australia as a pharmacy technician. In these two cases, this pharmacy exam, KAPS exam, no need to write. Okay. Even if someone is a uh, university lecturer, simple completed is a master of pharmacy or PhD, plus they have a two year teaching experience, they can migrate as a university lecturer, but the jobs are not available in Australia. So I can give you one figure in Australia why Australia is a hot country for pharmacists getting a job. Because here in Australia, only eight pharmacy colleges available. Only eight pharmacy colleges providing the pharmacy education. So they need pharmacists from the other countries. That's why there's a high demand for pharmacists. Now you can imagine that how many pharmacists are uh, pharmacy school in Kerala. Maybe if you can see in uh, in uh, Karnataka, I am sure in Karnataka maybe more than 500 pharmacy colleges are available. So because in Aust in uh, India, around six thousand pharmacy colleges we have total pharmacy pharmacy college. In Australia we have only eight pharmacy college. That's why they need pharmacists from other countries. That's why the high demand for pharmacy overseas pharmacists in Australia. So these three steps you need to complete. So academically will help you to complete all these steps. No need to worry. This first step, document verification, we will do your document verification. You just need to provide us your documents only. It can copy of your documents like your degree, your transcript, or, or your Aadhaar card, your uh, passport, photograph, all the just general documents you need to provide us. And then uh, next step, you need to write a CAPS exam. CAPS exam is a full form called knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences okay so this is very very easy exam i will explain you in, in further in, in the detail another english test you need to pass called uh, pte or ielts so we will also provide you the coaching for this exam so these three steps you need to complete in order to migrate to australia you want to register yourself as a pharmacist in with Australian Pharmacy Councils, you have to complete these three steps. So academically will help you to complete these steps. So what in your uh, mind, there might be one question, what is the difference in Australia and New Zealand? So Australia, if you have a zero experience, you can start your process, you can migrate to Australia on no experience required. But if, but if you want to work in New Zealand, then one year work experience is mandatory in retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy. Then only you can start your, your process for New Zealand. So New Zealand required one year experience to work as a pharmacist in retail pharmacy or hospital pharmacy. But in, in case of Australia, they does not need any experience. And another important uh, difference in these two countries, New Zealand only gives two attempt. If you fail in your second attempt, you cannot write third time in New Zealand, but in Australia, it is an unlimited attempt. Okay, so these are the two major differences in Australia and New Zealand. Aust New Zealand is a very small country as compared to Australia. You can see this is Australia, it's a very, very big country. Uh, this is uh, uh, bigger than in, in India, I like more than 2.5, you know, uh, uh, bigger than India. And the population is very, very low, just 2.5 CR population of Australia. That's why there is a high demand for Indians nowadays. They are migrating to Australia. So New Zealand is a very small island as compared to Australia. There is a more opportunity for Australia and easy process for Australia to migrate. So initial assessment required with uh, you have to do with Australian Pharmacy Council. So we need to require these documents you need to provide us, like your degree. Whether you are a B form holder or farm D or M form, we need your degree uh, completion uh, certificate and we need your transcript from your university. We also need your registration certificate as a pharmacist with the state pharmacy council, your passports and national ID like Aadhaar card, birth certificate, and passport size photograph also we need. So these are the documents required, and uh, you need to pay the fees around. Uh, 
1310 Australian dollar to a the Australian Pharmacy Council. You need to pay to directly to the Australian Pharmacy Council this fee. And Indian rupees and Kakai can say like around uh, 72 75,000 rupees you need to uh, uh, pay for this uh, number one step if you want to complete. Okay. This is my first picture I was in the University of Sydney uh, when I went to complete to do my PhD. This is the first university in Australia they introduced pharmacy school. So, pharmacy uh, basically one of the oldest schools in Australia. So, they established this in 1899. Okay. So, the step two you need to complete this is called knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences. And uh, we need to pay the fees two to three zero Australian dollar. In if if I combine this total fees, you need to pay to the Australian Pharmacy Council. You need to pay around three thousand five hundred forty Australian dollars. So this exam, they will check your knowledge in four domains. Okay, like domain one, pharmaceutics, then pharmacotherapy, and then pharmaceutical chemistry, and then pharmacology and physiology. Okay. So same day you need to write two papers, paper one and paper two. Paper one consists of pharmaceutical chemistry, 30 questions or 30 percent question they will give you from pharmaceutical chemistry and 70 percent question they will ask you from physiology, pathophysiology and pharmacology. Okay, they will ask you the 100 questions, multiple choice question 100 and you need to pass or you have to score 50 percent in order to pass this exam and there is no negative marking. You have to attend all 100 questions. Okay. Then there is a paper two. So, paper one you need to write in the morning, then there is a gap in between one hour. Then, after one hour, you have to sit for the paper two exam. So, paper two they will ask you pharmacotherapy uh, and pharmaceutic select questions. Okay. So, this is very, very easy exam. Anyone can pass just 50% unit to score and no negative marking. So, if you don't know any uh, uh, answer any of the questions so you can uh, 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 basically uh, so once you give this exam this is that the, there is a center for this exam in India okay so you can go and write this exam uh, itself so it will take two to three weeks uh, in this exam after this week they will give you the the result and then you, uh, uh, you can write exam so exam centers basically there are the eight centers in India like Delhi, Noida and Gurgaon, then Pune, and, uh, Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai. These are the eight centers in India. So you can write this exam in India easily. Okay. And in our last exam, there's a 93 percent student pass in their past attempt. So this is very very easy exam basically. Uh, this uh, news published by Pharma Tutor. And uh, English requirement, then you have to write this IELTS exam or you can write a PT exam. We will provide the coaching for this exam as well. And for uh, CAPS exam, we pro provide the coaching for you for a month. And until you pass the exam, you will be with us only. And so we take live, live classes and plus recorded. And we provide the study material, we provide the MCQs, we take a lot of mock tests. So, very, very easy for you to pass the exam. Okay, we have our track record up to 93% student pass from academically. And if you are an industrial pharmacist, again, you need to apply for skill assessment, then English exam, you need to pass, then you can apply your EOI, expression of interest, and visa. But the jobs are not that much available in industry. So 90% are jobs available in the retail pharmacy and hospital pharmacy only. And then we have to go for, uh, if you are a diploma holder or you are working as a pharmacy technician, then you can apply like this, okay? Again, no need to write the exam, but you have to go for fiscal assessment and PT exam, EOI and visa you have to file. So these are the visa you can apply once you pass this exam. So one nine zero permanent visa and one four nine one four eight two four nine four four zero seven. These visa you are eligible once you pass this process.
So once you pass this process and got your visa, then you have to go to Australia and you have to work for one year internship you have to do in, in Australia. So it is not just a free internship. They will give you the salary. So it is a job basically. Okay. So you have to work under the supervision of a registered pharmacist in Australia for 12 months. And they will pay you around $30 per hour uh, salary. And then, you know, and uh, after that, you can be a registered pharmacist in Australia. And then you can work in the community pharmacy or a hospital pharmacy. Also, you can work as a clinical pharmacist later on. And the average salary in Indian rupees is 3 to 5 lakh per month. You can earn in Australia as a pharmacist. And average time will take around 6 months to 1 year to complete your A to Z process. Here are some of the reviews from our uh, uh, Google uh, page. And uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out directly to on WhatsApp on these number, numbers. These are from our, our team. Or you also can write the email for us. And you also can reach out uh, these our team like Sadiq, Amin, and uh, Ali. Uh, Abdul also is there in your college. So you can speak to Abdul if you have any questions. He will have representative from it technically. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can now we can uh, talk one on one. So I can I'm happy to uh, give your uh, you know if you have any, any doubt or any question. Yes, Ruby, can you please ask your question? Ruby or Akshya Unni. Please ask your question. Um, I mean, can you please share the feedback form in the chat box? Yes, sir, sharing it. Please ask question, Akshya, Ruby, Nandan. So we already gave this feedback form in the chat box. Please feel, feel free to this form. And we also have an EMI option. So if you have some financial issues also, we can arrange for you up to 12 months, no interest EMI. So you can join academically uh, easily. Please ask questions. Abdul, if there are any questions there in uh, seminar hall, please uh, reach out to him or her and then uh, ask from your side also. You can ask the or any any faculty also have any questions so please you can ask Adhira ma'am if you have any questions uh, from... <laughs> sir they don't have any I will be here to discuss them sir okay okay and I will... you, you can directly ask to I you know this uh, our team uh, if you have any questions. Abdul is here, so you can ask that to Abdul if you have any questions. And those who are online, I would request to please ask your questions, clarify your doubts. Yes, and please fill this form. So anytime you, our team can reach out to you and one on one with you, you know, you can talk to them over the phone, your doubts. Or anything you want, uh, you would like to ask with, uh, from our team. You have any questions? Ruby has raised raised her hands and Akshaya Akshaya only. Yes. Please ask if you have any questions. And if you have any questions, you can ask in your uh, regional language also. Abdul is expert there in your regional language. So you can ask Abdul also in your language. 
Yeah, basically Abdul also and uh, uh, another, what is the name that girl, you know, she's working with us. She's also from Kerala. Yes. So even you can ask in your own language as well. Or you can fill in the uh, feedback form here in the chat box. I would request you to fill in the form uh, and your questions also, if these are unanswered, because you guys are not asking any questions. If you have any questions later on also, you can fill in the form. We will come back to you. We will have a discussion one on one and clarify your doubts. Because a lot of people, they have registered. Uh, I have seen that they have registered for the webinar. And they were very excited to have this webinar. Now they are not asking any questions. Yes, please ask the question. To, yeah, directly, you have a uh, chance for you to ask directly with me. Uh, so please ask if you have any questions. Don't feel shy. Professor Athira, I think you might be like having a discussion one on one with your students. They might be asking few of the questions you can ask if you have any questions, please. Abdul Athira ma'am has any question? Actually, they are saying they don't have any doubts. I will be here sir, for 10 to 15. Maybe there are some questions be clarifying their doubts. Sir. Okay, okay. No problem. Then I think uh, we should wrap up now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so Abdul is here. You can ask directly to him if you have any question. Okay, so now we are going to finish here. If you are not have any questions, you are not asking for any question. Or still, if you have any questions, please do ask me now. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Abdul.